quick tip for you. That, yeah, we got this. You know? um, to be honest, I feel like the way we prepare through the week, man, is the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday practices, those days we get after it. Like, we, we practice hard. We really practice hard. So I feel like the game done, The game isn't won on Saturdays. The game is won throughout the week. Javon, there was that anonymous quote circulating about your defensive front and secondary. Did you guys use it as motivation at all this week? I, I wouldn't say we use it. I mean, me personally, I would say, you know, so I really don't get into the outside noise. But, um... We know, like, people don't, you know, so you talk with your helmets and your shoulder pads. We don't really get into the outside uh, sources and the news and things like that. But, um, like I said, we had a game plan. We stuck to it and we had to get out of the game. You guys, the sacks have been kind of hard to come by this year. And you got a couple of them today. And that's what allowed you guys to get that pressure on them and get there. Uh, the, the front did an amazing job. Uh, we, we had this uh, game plan. We were going to do uh, do more with less. We had a do that on front because we knew they, like, spread the ball. They were up-tempo team. And um, like I said, those guys did an excellent job. Nas, uh, Arvin Jones, Chaz, Beefy, uh, Robert Beer. And those guys did an amazing job. And it, it just like allowed us to be more free and, and play more free and we're able to get support back. How, how do, where those two sacks rank on your list of plays in your athletic they, they, big they, game? I mean, the sack off the edge always. Yeah, you know, they definitely. They're definitely up there. Um, like I said, I've never played in an environment like this. This kid from Middlesbrough, Georgia, playing in an atmosphere like this. It's, I'm extremely grateful. It's an extreme blessing, and I, I'm so grateful. As somebody that prides themselves on physicality, how much did you enjoy? You know, you, you get to show your defensive back skills all the time, but how much did you enjoy getting to go after the quarterback? It's, it's amazing, man. Like like I said, the coaches, uh, they are so great gratitude to the coaches for believing in me and um, putting me in a game plan as, for, like, as far as blitzing the quarterback as it goes. But, um, like I said, uh, we just stuck to the game plan, and I, I'm grateful for the coach that gave me the opportunity to do what I can do. Did you sense coming in that this was going to be a game almost like they played against Bama, or maybe like the first team to 40 win, and the defense that gets just a couple of stops? Because you guys held up by way below their average in everything. Um, like I said, uh, as far as like other teams, like uh, I feel like Georgia's Georgia. We don't try to be like anybody else. Uh, but um, like I said, like. Uh, you know, uh, pass out to Bama, but um, like we, we played Georgia way. Like we played the Georgia way. We played to high standard, and um, we knew that we had the challenge every season. We knew they had an amazing quarterback. We knew that offense goes simple. We knew we had to be the best conditions, like I said. So it go all goes back to the game plan. Uh, just knowing our assignments, doing what we had to do, making the checks we needed to check. How big was this crowd for y'all as a defense? It was amazing. It was amazing. Shout out to Dog Nation, man. 130. Uh, that's that's crazy. Like I said, like I. I, I I've never felt nothing like that in my life, so like playing that atmosphere is an extreme blessing.